Kurt with Aerogun, and I want to talk to you about our Aerogun bow attachments. We have two versions here that will shoot paintballs. This one here will shoot your 68 caliber paintballs. This one here will shoot your 50 caliber paintballs. Now to show you what it looks like when it's mounted up to the bow, here's one, the 68 caliber mounted up to the Diamond Infinite Edge compound bow. And what I want to do today is not only show you how these operate, how they function, the physics of them, but I also want to go through some maintenance with you. Okay, before we get started on taking these apart and show you how to maintain them, I first want to go through a little bit about each one. The 68 caliber version that you see here shoots your larger 68 caliber paintballs. And this one is most ideal for bows from 50 to 70 pounds. You need that bow energy from 50 to 70 pounds to build up enough velocity to shoot the 68 caliber ball out. However, with our 50 caliber version that you see here, you can put this on a bow from 25 to 40 pounds and get the same velocity as you would here because the ball is much smaller and doesn't take as much air push to push it out. Now I want to go through a little bit on the 68 caliber and show you how this functions. Now what I have here is our 68 caliber version of the arrow gun. Each version of the arrow gun that shoots paintballs will come with a built-in velocity adjuster for increasing and decreasing your velocity. They'll also have a stick feed for holding paintballs. Now on the 68 caliber version it will hold up to 15 paintballs. On the 50 caliber version it will hold up to 20 paintballs. Now your paintballs themselves will load right here into the feed tube. And then to load it into the receiver you'll need to cock one in. So just pull this back. You can see the paintball drop down and in. When you release it, it pushes it up into the receiver. So now at this point, you're ready to draw and release your bow. As you draw the bow back, and then you release, you're pushing the air and increasing the pressure because it's forcing into a smaller transfer tube before ultimately pushing your paintball out. Before we start disassembling our 50 cal or 68 cal version of the Aerogun, make sure to access your metric Allen key set. It's included with each version. Now all Aeroguns, as you can see here, are built off of the same air chamber. And to get the receiver off of this air chamber, we need to first remove the barrel. The barrel is twist out. So remove your barrel from the 68 cal version here. Set it to the side. With the barrel removed, you can now see the front mounting screws of the receiver. And here we have the back mounting screws of the receiver. To lift the receiver from the air chamber, you need to remove these screws and these two on the back. We've removed the receivers from both the 68 caliber and the 50 caliber paintball version to show you a unique feature to the arrow gun. The air chamber on all of the arrow gun units is the same air chamber. The only thing that changes is the receiver and the barrel. So once you have a 50 cal or 68 cal unit and you want to switch to a different ammunition, all you need to purchase is one of our barrel conversion kits and now you can be shooting a different caliber. Before we disassemble our receivers, I first want to go through how to maintain your air chamber. As you note here, here is your slide mechanism. This will need to be lubricated from time to time. Don't use anything petroleum based because petroleum has a tendency of breaking down the plastics and the rubber o-rings that are inside the arrow gun. Also too, you'll want to get in here and clean your air chamber out from time to time from dust or dirt that might build up. To do so, just loosen up the screw on your back retaining ring. Remove that, and at that point, your arrow shaft and your Delrin piston will come right out. You can wipe your Delrin piston off with a paper towel, and then you can also take and push a paper towel using the arrow shaft itself through your air chamber to clean out that dust and dirt. To do so, though, you will first need to remove the four screws that you see here, your horseshoe, and then take out your front transfer elbow. But before I do that, make sure to remove these two screws, one here, and one here. With the front transfer elbow removed, at this point you could take a paper towel, spray a little alcohol on it or some water, just something to attract the dust and dirt inside your air chamber. Crumple it up, push it into the tube, and you can use your arrow shaft as a rod to push that paper towel through to clean it out. After you've cleaned out your air chamber and you're ready to reinsert your piston and arrow shaft, you may want to put a small dab of oil. I like to use paintball gun oil. You can also use silicone spray or air oil, but just a small dab on the ball joint that you see in there to lubricate that o-ring. However, do not lubricate the outside of the Delrin piston. If you put any lubricate, lubricant on here, it's going to put oil in your air chamber, which is just going to attract dust and dirt. Delrin is self-lubricating, so do not lubricate the outside of it. I'm showing you an underside of the arrow gun receivers itself. You can see here our caulking lug. As this is cocked back each time, it opens it up for the paintball to drop down and in. You can also see here our ball detents. 
This little finger that goes up inside the receiver stops the ball from double feeding. And this one here that also goes in the receiver stops the ball from rolling down the barrel. Now I'm going to show you how to remove those and the depth of those in just a second. But first we're going to remove the valve from the receiver. The valve section of the paintball arrow guns is held on by four small screws that you see here. Once you remove all four of those screws, the valve will come free from the receiver. Once the four screws are removed on both of the paintball versions of the arrow gun, the valve can come out freely and you can see the valve assembly for the 68 caliber version here and here is the 50 caliber version. The knob on the side is your velocity adjuster. What the velocity adjuster is doing is restricting the airflow that is going through the valve. To adjust your velocity, you will loosen up your screw, which is a set screw that locks it, and then you can rotate it and restrict your flow of air going through the valve assembly. When the velocity adjusting knob is straight up, it is at its most open point, so it's going to allow the most air to flow through the valve. If you need to increase this airflow, you will need to increase the draw weight of your bow. The feed port that is on top of the receiver, which is holding your 15 round stick feed or 20 round stick feed for the 50 caliber version, can be removed by taking off the two nuts that you see here. When those nuts are removed, your feed will come right off. Next I'm going to show you how to remove the slide from your 50 cal and also your 68 cal version. First you'll need to remove what is called the caulking lug. Take your Allen wrench, break the screw, screw free, and remove your lug. At that point the bolt will drop out freely from the receiver. On the 68 cal version it's just a little bit slightly different process. Here is your slide or your bolt again. To break this free, and this is a bolt that has been removed already from one of the 68 cal versions, you can see the brass seat here that your caulking lug is going into. You'll need to come down through the free feed port with a flat screwdriver and lock into that brass seat before you can break your caulking lug free. As mentioned earlier, the arrow gun has two ball detents. One located right here, which is the anti-double feed, and one located right here, which is the anti-barrel roll. The ball detents themselves are made from a rubber Buna cord. A small piece is pushed up into the receiver, and the rest of it is folded over and into the slots that you see here. If you do not have Buna cord to replace these, you can actually take an O-ring, which here is, just as long as it has an eighth inch outer diameter, you can cut a chunk of this O-ring out and use it as your ball detent. The easiest way to remove your ball detents is to take a spring hook, grab the front portion that you see pushed down into the locking slot, lift it up, and the Buna cords will come right out of there. You've easily removed your ball detents. On the 68 caliber version, the anti-double feed ball detent is 5 eighths of an inch long or 16 centimeters, and the anti-barrel roll ball detent is a half inch long or 12 centimeters. On the 50 caliber paintball version, the anti-double feed ball detent is 3 quarters of an inch long, or 19 centimeters, and the anti-barrel roll is 5 eighths of an inch long, or 16 centimeters. To reinsert your ball detent, slide one end of the Buna cord or O-ring into the ball detent hole. Make sure it goes up an eighth inch into the receiver, and then push the rest of it down into the slot that is milled into the bottom. Now occasionally these Buna cords or these ball detents will break off. It is rubber. They get dry over a period of time and it will snap off and you'll know when it's happened because you're going to start either double feeding or the balls, balls will start rolling out the barrel. When reassembling either version of your paintball arrow gun, I like to use a little blue Loctite on the caulking lug. I don't like the screw to loosen up and as it comes down it will actually hit into the valve. So just a small dab on the threads that you see on the end and then tighten it all the way up. Once you've completed the maintenance and reassemble of your arrow gun, either the 68 caliber or the 50 caliber version, do go back and double check and make sure that you've not over tightened or under tightened your screws. Main thing is to make sure everything's been put back the same way that you've taken it apart. Once you've done so, then you can remount it up to your bow and go out and practice your paintball archery. Go have fun. I want to thank you for watching our video and please check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.